how I go about getting sun healing in the winter time. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm in my backyard and um, what I do is look for the warmest part of the yard and that's basically where the sun hits most, okay? So I am trying to find the hottest part of the yard with no shade. And I think it's actually up this way. See my dogs out here acting up. Y'all excuse my yard. My dogs have tore my yard up. My son is supposed to come out here and pick up this trash. Um, yeah. So I am going to say as of right now, the warmest part of my yard is actually right here. And I can feel the sun directly on my face. Now, what you typically want to do is you want to Google, okay, or in any search engine, you want to put in your hour by hour forecast, okay? So that's going to tell you what um, the per perspected um, temperature will be every hour of that particular day. So what you want to do is look at the highest temperature of the day, and that's when you want to go out into the sun and bask and receive that healing. So for today, for me, even though it's winter, the warmest part of the day today is actually 48 degrees, okay? So um, I am out here at the warmest part of the day. I have, I am bundled, I'm actually bundled up really well. I have my scarf on my head and covering my ears and my neck. You refrain from getting sicker while you're out. All right, so I'm going to go back to where the hottest part of my yard is. I actually have my chair. That's what I went to get. And I'm going to sit right here. I'm sitting. Oh, hold on. This chair was broken. Okay guys, so I'm actually sitting in the sun and I'm going to stay out here until my intuition tells me that I'm done. And um, basically, I'm gonna let my body tell me when I've had enough sun. So as you can see, it's hitting my forehead because if I look up into the sun, I am directly staring right in it. So I am at the hottest part of my yard with the least amount of shade. And I'm gonna just bask. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm just going to embrace the sun. And I'm looking up, but my eyelids are closed. Some people sun gaze. I don't sun gaze anymore because I've had eye surgery and my eyes are sensitive. one thing you could do is you could actually meditate. Take deep breaths. Breathe in. Out. In. And then out. And you're just going to do this and absorb the energy from the sun and ask it to heal you from all death, destruction, and disease. That and I'm gonna do this for a few minutes and then I will be back. You, um, because when you face the sun, your body will, you will feel um, the heat more and your body will warm up and just, basically causes you to feel thirsty. So and you want to show a level of gratitude and appreciation for this element. 
the element of heat, energy, fire, and appreciation. It feels really good. And you just want to show gratitude. You can show gratitude to the creator who created all things, who created the sun, especially. Or you could even just thank the sun for being there. Whatever you like. All right, guys, it's been a little bit over an hour and I'm about to start wrapping it up because the temperature is going to go down in um, pretty much in the next 45 minutes or so. Um, and also, one thing that I wanted to note is that I had to move my chair because the position of the sun changed. So where I was became shaded. <laughs> and so when you when you're embracing the sun and um, you want to make sure that you move when the sun disappears from the spot you're at. <laughs> and so that, that's, that's um, some advice. So you want to get up from where you are, change your position, go somewhere else, and get that full power of the sun. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that it's time for me to be done. Um, I actually feel better I feel happier and um, I'm about actually gonna make me some salad and so yeah that's pretty much it hmm. also too when you get up just kind of be careful because your eyes sometimes your environment feels a little bit darker um, after you like embrace the Sun so you want to kind of be careful until your eyes readjust. All right. So I'm about to sign off. And hopefully this has helped somebody that needs this information. Peace.